Where would we be in our student government without it? Would anything be done at all? These are the questions all mankind ask. What would we do without ASB? Nothing. Hey, hey, buddy, how you doing? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm just uh, cleaning my goggles. Uh, what are you doing today in ASV? Uh, uh, nothing. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Because our group has nothing to do. Well, actually, I'm going to be looking for team bonding activities. And, yeah. Oh, that's pretty sick. I think we did one of those on uh, Halloween. Did we? When oh, we, we hid, did. Yeah. When we hid. That was very fun. Yeah, yeah it was. Alrighty. Here we are live in the ASB room. We have some two ASB uh, workers here. So what do you exactly do for ASB? I'm actually um, senior class president and I'm poster team tracing leader. So I trace and I lead while I trace. So they follow me. And, and what do you do? Yeah, so I wasn't able to be that part of ASB. Um, but I'm, I just have a passion for it. So I come during every third period and I help out with posters. I help lead. Um, I give everyone their roles. Uh, so here in ASB, I actually make the um, Instagram some of the Instagram posts very nice uh, what's your favorite product that you have made oh uh, <laughs> favorite product I've made is probably uh, the either the uh, homecoming or uh, winter formal from last year the invitation I think it's just great how we all feel like a family or as I like to say family because it's our fans <laughs> that are our family uh, I think ASB is a fun way to get the students involved with um, the school activities. So I hear you guys have a YouTube channel. What, what is it? Marine S2. Not like the Marines. Marine as an M-A-R-E-E-N space S and then 2. All right. What, what does it do? Oh, we're, we're a little bit of everything. Yeah. Want? We uh, have a little bit of uh, sugar and spice in there. Um, we sugar and spice. What what is sugar and spice? Uh, everything you know. We do cooking videos. We do entertainment videos. We do interviews, um, just like this one. Um, it's a prank we're gonna do a prank next. Yeah. On Ooh, you. Pranks. Oh. Nice. That's awesome. All right. Well, there you have it, folks. Here we are. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. All righty. Cool. Cool. Am I? Can I wear this little thingy? Yeah. Yes, I want to wear it. Wait, there's a similar right. thing? Oh my gosh, I want to wear it. Chris, show me your step back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was great. Oh. <laughs> Garbage dribbling. Ooh. That was spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I said that's so weird. Ooh. <laughs> hey, do you want to bite me? No, what's that guy? Oh, we gotta put my hood on too, Chris. Dude, Evan okay. looks amazing. Yeah. We have contestant number one, Evan. Contestant number two, Chris. And contestant number three, Darcy. Where's the I didn't get it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, Sam. Um, I personally like ASB because we get to help the school in new and different ways, and uh, we all each have a way to put our ideas forth, and we are able to discuss about it. So yeah. Uh, this is this is Evan. Uh, what do you what do you do in ASB? Um, well, you see, my job is to do many things. Yeah. But I don't really do any of them. So. <laughs> and Chris and Evan both don't do their jobs. Do you do your job? Yes. As you can see, I'm making a snowflake. Oh really? Were you assigned to do that? Uh yes. By who? By no one. <laughs> by myself. <laughs> by myself. By myself. Yes. Oh I nice. Nice. Uh, how do you do a snowflake? 
So basically, uh, so square, basically square I'm okay. This is good. This is like a wiki how right here, but okay. and you're like <laughs> Here we are live in the ASB room with our good bold friend old buddy old pal Fabricio. Now uh how how are you today? How how are you on this fine day? I'm doing pretty as well. Oh nice, that's very good. So it's not been the best day ever, but you know. Okay, I'm so sorry, but uh, will you? Well, are you okay if I ask you some questions? Yes, I'm totally fine. All right, how do you feel about sporks? Which one? Just sporks in general. How do you feel? I think they're amazing because um, you know they provide a foundation for our athletes, and and if they're good enough, they get scholarships. And I said sporks, not not sports. sports. Yeah, sporks. I actually do like them a lot because whoever made that, like, good job. Because, like, versatile. I can eat everything with it. Soup. I could eat fruit with it. I could pick up, I could melon ball. Not really, but kind of. Because, like, they're, like, you know, kind of round. Uh, hello, everybody. My name's Chris, and we're here with Darcy. So we're going to be interviewing Darcy. Um, uh, Darcy, what's your name? Darcy. Okay, good, good. Um, what's your middle name? Darcy. Oh, that, that's a pretty cool uh, middle name. What's your favorite part about this time of holiday during the Christmas season? And what's your favorite part? Is it Christmas Day opening the presents? Or maybe it's later on the, when the dawn of the new year arrives? Well, I'm Jewish, so I don't open presents. Oh. But I do celebrate Hanukkah. And it just started December 2nd. So it goes on for eight days. Yeah. Today's the fourth day. Yep, correct. Fourth day. Wait, right? Two, four, two, three, four, five. Yeah, fourth day. So, yes. Um, fourth candle light lighting today. Uh, I haven't seen Jews in over like a week. So, so today we're gonna interview Kimberly. Let's go get her. No, we're interviewing Mary. So, Mary, how you been, girl? I'm great. Um, what are you to Darcy? best friend now we're gonna go interview Seth you're too close to me okay I need you to back up Seth we're interviewing you okay. how are you um, I'm doing good okay, so today we're gonna do some posters for ASB let's go see it today we're doing some winter week spirit posters they're right there so right there that's winter spirit week Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday so, um, yeah, this is Myla, guys. Look at her, not look at me, because this is too much. No, don't look at me. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, so now I'm going to ask the cameraman a question. What is it like to be a cameraman? Um, it, It's pretty good. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, it's not an easy job. I can tell you that. Uh, uh, do what does seem hard, though, is uh, working at In-N-Out. You know, I heard I heard that place is pretty rough. You know, so whoever works there, you know, I pray for you. He wishes he worked at In-N-Out. I'm the real In-N-Out worker right here. Goodbye, fans. Look at all my fans. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's into you. <laughs> I am, you know, making moves in ASB, giving off positive energy. How positive is your energy? Not negative. I know that for sure. Ooh, how, how not negative is it? On a scale from one... To Donald Trump, I'm not Donald Trump. Ah, that's good to know. Next, clearly, I've been having technical difficulties for the past. Bad, bad mark for Apple. Bad mark for Apple, but Apple's tight. I just, you know, the way my life is set up, I'm not a technical person. But I just figured it out. So. Ooh, what are you loading? My whole camera roll. Hey, that's pretty good. All 7,281 photos. Wow. Half of them are memes. Half of them are memes. That's good to know. Now, uh, is there? Do you have lots of ASB pictures, or are these kind of your pictures? No, there's a lot of ASB ones. I'm putting. I'm gonna try to put together something ASB related. Like a like a whole collage of photos. I can't reveal yet. Ooh, secret. I will slide that y'all's way. Here we are, ASB documentary. Uh, how do you guys, How are you guys doing in ASB room today on this fine, cold, wet, rainy day? We are doing very well. Uh, that's nice. What are you doing? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> we're, 
We are working on winter week activities. Ooh, winter week activities. What's your favorite part? Um, What's your favorite day? Probably ugly sweater day. Uh, do you have an ugly sweater? Yes, I do. Is it ugly? Not really. <laughs> okay, good to know. Uh, now let's get let's get over here. Uh, how how are you doing today? How are you? I'm doing well. Oh, nice. Are you also working on the Spirit Week days? No. Oh, <laughs> what are you working on? Nothing. Hey, that's pretty good. That's really good. And as always, there's Miss Parker. Well, you're probably working very hard. What are you working hard on? <laughs> we are. <laughs> Is it that is that is it that rice thing with eggs and garnish on it? Is that <laughs> No. We're working on some cute things to hand out with student names on it. This is my my version of a gingerbread Oh, can we get a let's get an exclusive interview with them. Now excuse me, what's your name? All right, there you have it, folks. There we go. A beautiful gingerbread. Thank you so much for all being on um, our documentary. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm, going to, I'm just going to give handshakes to everyone I see. Birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday to you. Cha, cha, cha. Happy birthday, dear Walter. Happy. Uh, we just wished Walter happy birthday. Uh, so, Walter, uh, how many birthdays have you had? 17, I guess. So, so does that mean you're... 17 years old? Yes, sir. How do you feel so close to 18? What will be the first thing you do as an adult? Breathe. Can you please uh, tell us the assignment for the, uh, the documentary to show ASB's hardworking crew? So you're going to help me out with some secretary work? <laughs> Don't be threatened by the mic. Yeah, so I'm ASB secretary, and right now I need some help with some paperwork. Because I have a lot. Um, yeah, so you're just looking what's missing from the documents. All right, thank you very much. Here we go, doing ASP paperwork. What's up? I'm interviewing Darcy right now. So, Darcy, what's up? Nothing much. That's pretty cool. Anyways, what's your favorite color, Darcy? Red. Red, that's a cool color. It's one of the primary colors. Uh, my favorite color is green. What do you think about that, Darcy? That's kind of nice. Uh, what's your favorite color? Black. Nobody cares. Okay, guys, so we're going to be surprised interviewing Emily back here. So let's go follow her. So, Emily. Are you oh my <laughs> yeah, I am. Okay. Thank you very much for that interview. You heard it here, folks. She's running for president next year. Oh, tactics. Yes, tactics. Um, just show up. And win. Wow, that's that's really confident. She's really confident about this. Yes. What makes you so confident? Are you not afraid of anybody you're going up against, no matter who they are? No, because I already know all the people that can, and none of them seem like they have what it takes. Uh, all right, we're going to be doing another fast interview. Uh, let's see who we can find. Nope, not Evan. Okay, Seth is kind of weird. We're not going to choose him. Okay, uh, Mr. Devon. Uh, uh, you're not in ASB, but if you were, huh? Keep going, keep going. Uh, what's your period right now? It's clean. Uh, I got Mr. Walsh. Mr. Walsh. What do you think of Mr. Walsh? Um, I think Mr. Walsh is a wonderful person. He's a great teacher. Um, he's just a great person overall. He's a great. He's a great teacher for real. Yeah. I uh, know. You know, I totally agree. And uh, what do you think of uh, this entire class? Oh, have you ever been in ASB? I have last semester. Was it a pretty good class? It was cool. We had Miss Parker. Uh, she's pretty cool. So, nice. Well, uh, thanks, Phil. I'll see you again next time. Oh, you're not done. How are you guys doing? It's Devon Jones here. All right. Now it's, it's Devon Jones takeover. Okay. So, how would you rate this class on a scale of one to ten? Ten. What is your favorite food? Uh, sushi or Mexican food? Disgusting. Pine needles or acorns? Ooh, acorns. Disgusting. Over here was start, uh, the starting uh, Kearney star number eleven, Nihilo. Um, What's his last name? Nihilo Ibarra. Nihilo Ibarra right here. So what do you have to say about last week's game? Last week's game, uh, it was crazy. Um, we barely won. We should have won by more, but we did all right. So we're going to continue to go. This is Z Rice Films. This is the Devon Jones Takeover. How are you doing today, sir? What's your name? I'm Seth. This is Seth. How do you like this class, Seth? It's pretty fun. Now let's move more into Miss Parker. How do you feel about her as a teacher? What she's a pretty good teacher. I okay. like her. Do you, would you say she's better than most EID teachers? Um... <laughs> <laughs> 
response. No response? Hey, I respect that, bud. Thank you for um, tuning in. All right, how would you describe the Kearney football team in one word? Revolutionary. Revolutionary. Jesus, what are we, in the 1900s? I'm grateful that I go to SEC. No, I'm jealous of DMD, though, because they have a roof over their heads. So when it rains like today, like they don't have to worry. So we got Hayden Lundy right here. Um, so what is this in your hand, sir? Uh, it's a pump. And what, and what will you be doing with this pump? Uh, blowing out some basketballs for the Friday activity tomorrow. Friday activity. Do you hear this, man? Well, I won't be there, so I won't be able to enjoy the um, games that you have prepared. But um, one last question. What inspires your outfit today? Uh, I saw some jeans, and I was like, I guess I'm going to wear those. And then I saw my NASA sweatshirt, so I was like, I guess I'll wear that. How do I feel about NASA? I mean, it's cool. I, I think they're keeping stuff from us, but it's all right. Would you say NASA's keeping stuff or the government? Yes. Yes is his answer. Okay, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Seth. How do you feel about Miss Parker? Ms. Par oh, she's pretty, she's pretty lit. Lit? She's lit? Okay. Would you say she's better than your small school's teachers? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I need a yes or no, sir. <coughs> yes. That's a yes. Well, now we know that DMD teachers are definitely better. So, Jennifer, how do you feel about ASB? Um, I love being in here. I love being with all the students. They're all really nice, and they're very hardworking, and I appreciate everything that they do for the class. Okay, that was a real politician answer, huh? I've been walking around interviewing all these randos, but really, you're the heart and soul of this um, channel, so how are you doing today? Uh, my day's going pretty well. Uh, this is episode two of Inside ASB. It's a documentary, you know that? Documentary. We're, start, so, we're starting this documentary. Somebody be in documentary, guys. Uh, hopefully, it goes somewhere. Hopefully, people watch it, you know. Give us that shout out because we need it. All right, and uh, we'll see where it goes. So, yeah. you, so you guys can find the um, the link inside of my bio, um, um, Instagram Devon Ag Jones. Follow me on that. Um, you can find the link in there. You know, just come sub subscribe to my boy Xander, um, and we're out. Okay, uh, this is how we put up posters for Kearney ASB. That's locked. Dang it. We're gonna put up a poster in here because there's, it's raining and we don't want it to like fall. Now we're gonna be putting the tape. It's <laughs> Alright, let me test you on your knowledge. What is that? France. Wait, no. Is that? That's, no, that's right? not France. Okay. The only one, like the only one we really care about right here is Mexico. Mexico? Hey, uh. <laughs> Do you think the poster you, is slanted? Yeah, we need a second opinion. If it's what? Slanted. Is this poster slanted? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> okay, we'll notice. All right. It's fine. No one's gonna We're about to do a surprise interview on a particular student today. Let's go. Hey, uh, Zach, I gotta ask you a question. What do you think on the eggnog shortage? I hate eggnog. Why, why do you hate eggnog? I don't like the taste of it. Ooh, why? Because I don't like the taste of it. Ah, you heard it there, folks. Live from, live from him, his own mouth hole. What kind of Pringles are those? Salt and vinegar. Oh, those are one of the best. Is that your favorite? Uh, yeah, probably. Nice. Now, what about all the other the chip companies? What about Doritos? How do you feel about them? I mean, Doritos are pretty good. I don't really mess with the the red one, the red hot ones. I don't, I don't know what they're called, but yeah, those ones. I don't really mess with the Cool Ranch ones anymore. I used to, but nah. Oh, uh, is Pringles your favorite kind of chip, or is there more? I mean, I don't got a favorite. What's ever in front of me, I'll eat, because, you know, we eat out here. Like, we just got to do what we got to do. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Look at this beautiful landscape. Let's start in that corner right over there. Right there. Miss Parker, our wonderful ASB teacher, has her own little crooner corner where she has all the memorabilia from her past. As we move on, we have the large Promethean board we, where we get our main announcements from our president. And right there at that small desk is the vice president and president of ASB. Look at them. There. Look at them. They're doing so much hard work. Ain't that right, Jason? Look at all the hard work they're doing. I, do you agree? Do you agree? Do you agree? that I'm, they're doing a lot of hard work. I'll take that as a yes. And uh, next we have the poster team. Look at that. Look at that very nice handwriting. Whose birthday is it? <laughs> My coach, Andy. Oh, nice. How old is he? He's like a 62. 62. Wow. Happy 62. I didn't give you my consent to be on camera, so you should delete that clip. Jason, uh, how, do you, how excited are you for this documentary? 
Oh, dude, I'm so excited. Me and Zeta came up with this, and we added you, so it's about to be lit. Okay, added is a word that was used. How does it feel to be an ASP? Oh, dude, it feels great. I've had so much fun, you know? I made a lot of new friends, and a lot of people have been treating me good. I like it so much. Okay, um, how about the food? How's the food here? What food? The food. When have we had food in this class? <laughs> Just food in general. At this school, it's crappy. I'm not talking about the school. I'm just talking about food in general. Uh, food in general is so good. I make the best enchiladas. Uh, what kind of puzzle is this? Um, it's a 750 piece puzzle. 750 pieces. Uh, uh, it is a really big puzzle. Now, uh, what's the best part and the worst part about this puzzle? Um, how long we've been doing it is the worst part. Uh, how long? This is our third or fourth day? This is our fourth day. Our fourth day. What's the best part? Seeing it come together. Oh, that's good. Now, what exactly is the puzzle going to end up at the end? Like, what, what kind of theme? Like, is it a mountain or? We don't know. We don't look at it. Ooh, didn't even look at the box. And how are you doing on this fine, rainy day? How, do you, how are you doing? Um, pretty good, pretty good. All right, what, what are you doing? <coughs> uh, He's coughing. Uh, yeah. Um, are you diseased? Helping, yeah. Uh, how badly? Pretty bad. Like, uh, like virus badly, or like whole world's gonna die, zombie apocalypse badly, or just mild cough? Um, or somewhere in between? Somewhere in between. Ooh, like on a scale of 1 to 10, how do you rate your pain? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I'd give it an 8. An 8? Oh, you better go see a doctor. Mr. Me, do you have time to answer our survey? Of course I have time to answer your survey. Alrighty. You want me looking at you or the little red light? You can do whatever you want. Okay, Alright. Gotcha. So what I have here is an original Van Gogh. Okay, I'm going to show it to you, and then I'm going to ask you a question for our survey. Sounds good. Here we go. Yes. yes. All right, the question is, is this a beaver or is it a giraffe? It's definitely a giraffe. There you have it. Hello, folks. Uh, we're here. Uh, we're going to be doing a, uh, another interview uh, back here. Is where people make all of the posters for ASB. So, Jocelyn. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's here. So, uh, what are you doing right now at this very moment? Um, so, you know, I'm making um, not a poster, a t shirt. Wow, it's um, not, not a poster today. No. So, we're doing uh, senior mob shots next week, and this is what we're doing. We have to create artwork to express our. Our, our school spirit. School spirit, that's right. How much school spirit do you think you have? Honestly, from a rate... On a scale, on a scale. On a scale of 1 to 10? Yes. 11. 11. Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty high number. What do you do for ASB? Other than, you know, making posters, how do you show that school spirit? Um, you know, I go to, I go to all the games. I literally... <laughs> Honestly, don't listen to her. She's racist. Um, it's because I'm Mexican. Um, I'm Mexican, too. I'm a, You're Mexican? Yes, I am. Mexican, Irish, Indian, lots of other stuff. <laughs> okay, let's get a 23 of me on you. Let me show your results in class. Excuse me, uh, what are you guys doing? Cleaning up the cool things for the cookie get decorations. Ooh, when is that? Um, well, if you look at the paper, like... Right there, yeah. Right. Um, if you look at the paper right here, we have um, on Wednesday, Wednesday, December fifth, yeah, at three forty-five at the student center. Yeah. How do you feel about these new cookie ads that they are displaying? These new cookie ads. These new no, cookie these ads. Ones right the ones right here, I like them. You like them? How how much? Like at a scale of one to ten? Probably like a five point six. Five point six. Favorite kind? Chocolate chip cookie. Ooh. Do you like to have it with milk or just plain? Depends on the day. All right, and the poster team. Here we have, what's your name? Shamari Peak. We have Shamari here. So tell me, uh, what do you do in ASB? I am treasurer, so any financial records I handle, and I hand them off to the financial clerk. All right. I love her. So do you do a lot of paperwork? Yeah, I actually have two requisitions right here. You know... Don't look at their bank account information, but we are paying back our staff for spending their well-earned money on us. Blue tape, because, you know, poster team needs that to hang up posters. 
All right, all right. So now I'm going to show you some own my own paperwork, and it's a survey. I'm taking a survey, and first I want you to look at this image. All right, a, it's an original Van. It's an original Van Gogh, and the debate is: is it a beaver or a giraffe? We have a giraffe beaver combination we like to call those braffs around here or dreefs um in my opinion you know art is very um you know yes yeah, subjective it's how you interpret it you know i think this is van gogh i think this is van gogh and i think this thing right here is a banana saying hi i'm a beaver you know we're in 2018 as a beaver so it's a beaver identify yeah no, no, no. If you identify as something, that's what you are. All right, so uh, I, I can put you down for beaver. You're going down as beaver. So I have an original Van Gogh with me here today. And uh, I need you to answer the question, is it a beaver or a giraffe? It's a giraffe. Okay, and what do you say, good sir? I'm going to have to say it's a goat. I think it's a beaver. That's definitely a beaver. A giraffe. It is a giraffe. One of those. One of them? Yeah. Which one? One of them. Which one? Is it a goat? Yeah. It's a goat. You heard it here, ladies and gentlemen. It's a goat. Goat. It looks like we have a three-way tie. Three people say beaver, three people say giraffe, and three for goat. So, you've been asking everybody if they think this is a beaver or a giraffe. But what do you think it is, huh? I'm going to have to see it again. Show me one more time. Is it a beaver or is it a giraffe? My final answer is that... It's a beaver. It's a beaver, ladies and gentlemen. The answer that we've all been wanting to know. It's a beaver. <laughs> uh, hey, guys. My name's Chris. We're going to be interviewing uh, Xander today. So, Xander, uh, what was your third dog's last name? I only had two dogs. One's dead. One's alive. Oh, my God. Um, sir, I, but my if I did have a third dog, I would name it Chocolate. Even if it was white, it'd be white chocolate. Oh. What? I had a dog named you had a dog named Chocolate? Wait, 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 wait. So, um, what was your dog's name, Chocolate? I mean, uh, what? It, his name what was Chocolate. Like? What it was a Chihuahua. Did he share? It was brown. What it was really species? cool. Oh, shit. Um, okay, back to Xander. Um, did your dog Chocolate like chocolate? I uh, no. If you if you read up on it, like you're not allowed to actually give dogs chocolate. Oh. If you do, they die. Oh. Uh, I don't know how to read, so. All right. If yeah. you're planning on donating some cans, yeah. and this is the perfect place to do it. You just drop it in. But don't actually drop it, otherwise it might break. Yeah, it might break, guys. Common sense. Mr. Xander Rice, uh, how do you feel about ASB? Um, well, I be okay, you can hold it. Uh, I believe ASB is a place where we can meet many new people. It is a place where we can have a lot of fun. And it's honestly the best class I have in my schedule right now because all my classes are boring. It's the only time we're actually get to have fun, chill, cool time, you know. And doing this interview, right? This is this is yeah. pretty cool, right? Yeah. Yep. You think so? Right. I just switched the interview on him, and uh, you know, I got to meet uh, Darcy, our cameraman, camera woman, camera camera lady. Well, here's a president of our very own. How are you doing? I'm eating. Oh, she's eating food. That's okay. Well, yeah, I'll ask you yes or no questions. Are you doing work? She is doing work. Let's see. Oh, look at that. It says approved. Now, what are these approvals for? So they're for fundraiser requests. So we have fundraisers, and they have to go through us, and then they go to the office, then they get approved, and then they can fundraise. Hey, that's pretty good. How important is fundraising? Um, it's important because it makes money for the clubs. And like this one, this one was for ASB. We made money with this. Oh, we made lots of money with this. All right, thank you so much for telling us about the world of fundraising. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Oh, what's up, dude? How you doing? What's your name? Keith? Heath? Well, li like the bar? Like the candy bar? You like the candy bars, though? I do like to. You do? All right, we're going to get you on the camera since Jennifer's boring. How you doing, Heath? I'm doing all right. How all right. are you? Damn, you're a giant, dude. All right. Yes, I am. Okay. So, how's your day today? Uh, it's been all right. You know, it's I have a big speech coming up. And uh, how about you? How about, how's it been your day? 
All right, we just we just, we just flipped it. Don't mean I can't get in with this is my third time actually. Um well you know, well you know Heath, um I'm actually I feel really good, you know. I, I appreciate you taking the time to interview me. How do you feel about rulers? Rulers? I hate rulers. Oh, like like the measuring ones? Yes. Ruler oh, oh, that's a good question, bro. Um honestly, I think rulers come in really ha good handy, you know. Without rulers, you know, we would have uh, uneven uneven sides of walls and it just wouldn't be okay. Yes, very true. What about measuring tapes? Which is better, measuring tape or a ruler? Well, let's, let's, I think it's a question for the ASB president. ASB president, uh, we have a very important question uh, that's been recommended by 15.5 million Americans. Uh, which is better, a measuring tape or a ruler? A measuring tape. Why? I don't know, because it's a measuring tape, and you can just, like, pull it out. It's not, like, just a solid thing. It's, like, a string thing that you can pull out. Very wise, very wise. All right, guys, today we're going to be doing a surprise interview. We're going to be interviewing Bella. So Bella, Bella, um, what did you help to do in this Friday activity? I gave positive energy and great auras, and you know what? Just had a fun time. That's all, folks. No, I'm a sophomore. What are you doing? For your heart right. desires. That's my vacation. Hello there, good sir, good sir Derek. Welcome. You're you're getting special interview, a surprise special interview. How do you feel? A little bit nervous, but my first time. How do you feel being an ASB? Well, actually, it's like my first time. Although it feels like I'm in like the same footsteps as my brother, my my third oldest brother. But it was cool. Like, like it's about time for me to be part of the poster team. Like, do things that other people can. What's your favorite part of being on the poster team? Tracing and drawing. Do you like doing that in your spare time, or is it just here in ASB? Well, in ASB, but whenever I have spare time, I usually draw wherever I'm bored. So you're, would you say you're a professional drawer? A little bit. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Santa, tell me if you're really there. Don't make me fall in love again if you won't be here next year. Wait, I thought was... That was amazing. <laughs> you're good. Thank you. Yeah. about to get real. Hello everybody. Uh, I am here with uh, Mr. Heath. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. It's great to be here at our great school of ours. And that is right. We're going to be taking a tour of the entire Kearney campus. How do you feel about that? I feel pretty great about it. I feel like it's going to be a great adventure. Yeah, we're going to go through all the secrets of Kearney. It's classrooms you may, know, may not have known ever existed. And hopefully we find some pretty cool stuff. Let's go. Here we are at the very famous Kearney High Entryway. Let's go. Let's start with this tour with the big fireball Comet K right over there that many students look at as they walk down this precious hallway of ours. Here we have, this is what we call advertiser's wall. Lots of advertisement, advert, ads, just ads. That ad, it's got money on it and corn. This is one of the very entryways of the beloved auditorium where we have our special DMAs and many other announcements. Let's see if it's open. No, it's not. Here we are with some fellow Kearneyans here at Kearney. Uh, and you, we've been told that you do sports. What kind of sports do you do? Um, CIF runner-up. That's what my sport is. Um, Fortnite. Ah, yes. Uh, how Are you good at the sports or no? Um, well, on Call of Duty, we have a competitive team. It's called Rage. If you would like to join, just message me on Instagram at Anthony B. Brill. We need two more members, and we plan on competing in January at Fashion Valley. Thank you. All righty. Uh, let's move on to this guy over here. What's your name? Uh, my name is Devin Fergoso, and I play baseball. Ooh, uh, what position? Oh, I play outfield. All outfield, a little bit of pitching, and uh, that's about it. Oh, nice. We play COD. Ah, very, very important. And you, sir? My name is Antonio Fierro. I play uh, football, baseball, swim, chess, and black ops. What's your favorite out of all those? Definitely chess. Oh. But what's your favorite piece? Definitely the knight. He rides a horse. That's pretty cool. Do you like riding horses? I love riding horses. It's so much fun. Nice. What part of the horse is your favorite? The head. Why? It's very soft. Why? 
Have you ever looked into a horse's eyes? No. Me either. Here we are at our very own Kearney High Library, where many books are read by many of very students. I think we have a student here who goes to the library every single day. Uh, excuse me, sir, what's your name? Uh, I don't have a name. What's your real name? Uh, hard to say. Okay, hard to say. Uh, what's your favorite book that you've ever read out of this library? Um, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Uh, we're walking by some uh, classrooms to our uh, right side, or uh, your left, uh, I can't really tell. And so we kind of have to be a little bit quiet, since you don't want to interrupt the classroom environments. Over to my right, that is called the I'm in Student Center. Over there you can play a, a lot of cool video games. You can just relax, chill, have fun. Uh, over here... This is called a bathroom. People usually dispose of their waste in there, if you didn't already know that. Oh, it looks like someone's coming out right now. Uh, let's go see. Um, I don't want to go in there since it, uh, it's unsanitary to put a camera in there. Uh, but we'll just... Oh, it looks like we have somebody that, c that came out. Uh, uh, how did it feel to dispose of your waste? Um, I, it felt great. It felt great. All right, we'll catch you later. Hey, you're the guy from the library, right? No. All right, we're going to keep on going. Heath was talking about posters, but you ain't seen nothing yet. This one right here is the biggest one we've seen so far. Comet Pride. That is right. Comet Pride. Let's look at this nice oak bench right here, made from the strongest hands, like Ron Swanson himself. And this is a real cool car. Look at this. It's uh, modeled after a uh, 56 Camaro. And, uh, yeah, pretty spicy rims on that one. Uh, oh, someone needs to fix this this board right here. Some stuff's falling down. We'll get our ASB to work on it. Our hard-working ASB crew. Over here, this was my first uh, math class. Miss Callahan, she's pretty cool. Looks like she's teaching the new ninth graders some math. Uh, you know how important math can be in this day and age. In this day and age. Here we are at the very PE field where many students uh, like to do their physical education. Uh, when I say like to, I mean mandatory. But, uh, you know, it's fun either way. Oh, look at that guy. He's just gotta keep rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> gotta keep rolling, rolling. Oh, he stopped. Okay. Hey, hey, guy that rolls. What's your favorite part of rolling? Um, I get dizzy. Yeah, how, how come you keep you keep popping in our interviews? Um, I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> Here we are in this abandoned field, and when I mean field, I mean I don't know what to call it, but I'm gonna call it a field. Here we have the old oak tree of '92. It was planted here in '92. Just like a '92-year-old, the skin just peels off. You know, it just just peels off. Disgusting. We're over by the 200 building, and there is a handicap sign. This is the very perfect place to roll your wheels over here, since uh, you can see this nice fertile road. Great for wheels. Over here, this is a bank where you can have all your picnics on. Great for sitting, great for laughing, and uh, great for stretching. We're outside of a Kearney football field uh, where uh, it's nice and green. There's a lot of greenery. Hey, hey, hey! Who is that? Hey, get back here! It's that guy! It's that guy again! Look at him, he's just running. Where is he going? You know, someone needs to get down to the bottom of this, okay? I don't know what kind of a security situation we have here, but... You just allow random, random students to walk everywhere, huh? It's not right. Hopefully we won't run into that guy again. Because, you know... You know, it's it's funny the first couple times, but then uh, it just it just happens. You know, too many people take nature for granted, and uh, some sometimes uh, we don't really get outside that much. But uh, who cares about that? Because it's all about the infrastructure. Am I right, guys? Here's some more posters. Let's take a look at these posters. Uh, this one is actually not up all the way. Here, my my next good deed for the day. There we go. Spirit Week. Upcoming. God, it's a guy. Excuse me, sir. Would you like to be part of an interview? Yes. Your name is Charlie? Yes. Do you like that name? Yes. How much? Enough that I still want to keep it as my name. That's awesome. Now, where did, what are the origins of your glasses? Um, Costco. You're probably wondering why we're out here, and we're actually filming a documentary. What is it about? It's about inside ASB, and part of ASB is this beautiful Kearney 
Kearney courtyards that we walk about. What's your favorite part of Kearney, like building wise? Um, probably the new EID building. Ooh, what's so what's so great about it? Um, I just like the modern design of it and that it has air conditioning. Air conditioning, that's very important. New technology, am I right, folks? Thank you so much, Charlie. Uh, do you do you have a chocolate factory? No, I want one though. Oh, everyone does. Oh, Xander wants to. There we go. Thank you so much, Charlie. We'll take a quick look inside our gym. Uh -oh. oh, people are doing stuff. Look, more physical activity. Look at that. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, got to look both ways before we cross the street. All right, we're good. Oh, God, I've been hit. Ooh, more benches. Look at these white benches. I've never seen benches so white before. There's a whiteboard out here? Holy crap, look. Oh, but that's my that's my new catchphrase. Let's go interview the SCT uh, office people. Let's go. Ooh. It's a very nice. What's your name? My name is Sarah Tumi. I go to SCT. I'm a senior. Hey, nice. Uh, what brings you to this office? Um, so I'm getting my transcript sent out for some scholarships, which is very exciting. So that's pretty good. Yes. Thank you. No problem. Uh, is this your favorite office? This is definitely my favorite office. I practically live here. I come here every morning. It's it's very nice to meet you. Have your own coffee mug. No, I should get one. Comment down below if I should get one. Yeah. You should. Okay. Yes. What what would it what 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 would it say? It would say hype beast because I say that a lot. It would say hype beast. Yes. What well, would it have a picture? Yes. Of what? It would be a picture. Of a giraffe slash beaver. Check out the last uh, video for reference. Oh, yes. It was a beaver. I don't like meatloaf. Do you? I am a vegan, so no. Uh, <laughs> yes. Another awkward moment for Ethan Rowers. Thank you so much for being on the interview. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. What is it like being a counselor here at Kearney? Well, uh, this is my third year, and I really enjoy it. The students are great. The staff is great. And I wake up every morning and I want to be here. All right, what a great time we had in SCTMI ride. But everyone knows one of the heart and souls of Kearney High School is the great and wondrous DMD. Over here, we have the senior patio. People are playing cards. People are studying. Whatever you need to do. If you don't have a fourth period, this is the place to go. Let's see if we can get inside of the cafeteria and take a look at all the food that they're serving for lunch. Because uh, stuff that they serve is uh, pretty good. A++ food. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. We're going inside of the wondrous 900 building, also known as Digital Media and Design. I used to have one of these, uh, one of these bad boys right here. One of these lockers. Uh, the only problem is I forgot the locker number and my combination, so it didn't work out very well. To the right hand side, that is where our wondrous ASP classroom is. Uh, right here, we have uh, Miss Teresa. Uh, what exactly do you do here at DMD? I take care of all the students' attendance when they're absent. Um, I clear their absence. I take parents' calls and try to help students as much as I can. Wow, very nice. And do you enjoy your time here at DMD? Oh, yes, I do. I enjoy helping each, each one of the students and help the parents and our vice principal and our counselor. Very nice. Thank you very much. I uh, hope you have a very good day. We're going to keep moving on with the tour. What a... What was a ple pleasant interview that was. Look at this Nemo right here. Very great. Look at the colors. Look at the texture on that. You know, that took someone a very long time to make. It's not easy to get that purple right there, okay? This is numerous layers of purple. It takes time and dedication, folks. We're going to be going up these stairs. Uh, bear with me because it does take quite a while to get up these. Oh! Yeah. I'm here again. Why do you keep following us? See, I wouldn't call it following. I'd call it exploring. You're exploring us. That no, sounds even weirder. No, 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 no. I'm exploring bathrooms. You're exploring... What did you find in this one? Nothing. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary? No. I'm just a bathroom, you know. Um, um, I, li I like to call myself the janitor that doesn't work. We're going to go up these stairs. Uh, if you look at the structure on these stairs, they look a little bit dated. Maybe needs a new paint job soon. All right, so this is a, the upper 900 building classroom. I gotta be more quiet. You could probably tell. 
some more some more quiet part of a DMD here. Maybe the most quietest part of the entire school, as they say. They say they um ghosts roam these halls because it keeps them most at peace. Because this is a it's a really quiet, silent place. Oh, this is uh, our English teacher, Miss Clay's classroom. Oh, it looks like there's a teacher meeting in there. I just saw Miss Workman, Mr. Young, and Miss Clay. Wow, meeting of the brains right there. Ooh, look, it says the law. I assume that uh, refers to the artist who made these stairs. His name, he only went by the name of the, you know, it's an ancient tradition to put a quarter on the name the. And if it stays, that means uh, you'll have good luck. It didn't stay. Let's try again. Three, two, one. It stayed. Looks like I have good luck. So uh, I'm going to leave it here. I decided to leave it here so that uh, my luck can continue to go on. So let's, let's continue with the tour. Wait, we need, we need Xander's translating skills. What do you think? What does this say? Italian means uh, soldiers uh, marching. Uh, so I think this has to do with uh, the army. Maybe the government has a secret room in here that they're not keeping, uh, that they're keeping away from us students. That they don't want us to know about. Does it smell like anything? I smell jello. What did you find here so, today? It's a little baby cart that uh, is missing a wheel, but we could still ride it. As we're uh, advancing in this tour, uh, there's lots of interesting things. Just look at the lighting. As we move forward towards the exit, uh, we can look at all the wonderful classrooms that we have over here. Uh, digital media. This is We are still currently in DMD. And uh, as we go out the exit, uh, thank you, folks. And that was the end of our tours. The final, final place. The very lettering of our school. The Stephen Watts Kearney High Skull. It is missing an O, but aren't we all missing an O? And one day we'll all come together and, oh my god, get out of here, guy. It fits right there. It's my quarter. I've been a little harsh on you, so I'd like to give you something. It means very um, so much to me. It's a sign that says, thank you for not smoking. And uh, I really appreciate that. And this is a token of my gratitude. So, thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Inside ASB. I look outside this window, and what do I see? Kearney High School. That's what I see. We're going to interview the Vice President. Excuse me, uh, Madam Vice President, we are here for a surprise interview. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm so surprised. Yes. <laughs> always surprising okay uh, first uh, how do you like ASB I love it how much enough to do three years of it nice three years at five o'clock in the morning and I like sleeping until 12 so well, not like 10 but yeah true dedication now uh, how do you like being vice president uh, I don't really do have, have much job so it's kind of cool like with her bestie so you know no I don't that's not my bestie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking this time in the surprise interview. All right. Thank you so much. Back to you. Uh, as you can probably see, if you want to take a giant shot of the classroom, everybody is wearing very festive gear. And um, the reason why we're wearing festive gear is because uh, in the time of filming, this it is December, and we're getting close to um, more festive holidays. And uh, we're just going to ask some people, what do they like to do for the holidays? At the twilight. All right. Well, she just took my microphone, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. So, Mr. Caleb, uh, what do you do for the holidays? Because I see you wearing a hat. Do you celebrate Christmas? Yeah. What do you like to do for Christmas? So, basically, like, what I do for Christmas is, like, I go downstairs, right, and there's, like, this tree. And, like, I take all my gifts, and I go back to my room. So, do you open them by yourself? No. Who's with you? My mommy. Oh, that's cool. Christmas in a bedroom. That's awesome. All right, Mr. Dakota, what do you like to do? Or what do you do for the holidays? I like to cry in my room because no one loves me. Well, I usually go to my to, to my family in Mexico because that's pretty cool. Nice, Mexico. Are you Mexican? No. You're not? Oh, it's just, you just like going there? Yeah. That's cool. 
I cut my finger. I don't know where it is, but I did cut my finger you with cut this. Cut his finger. Oh no, are you okay? Do you need a band aid? No, I'm good. I'm good. It didn't bleed. It just cut me. Oh, okay. Just a cut. No, no worries. What are you guys making over here? Uh, we're cutting up. We're cutting up little Christmas letters for you know. Remember Kindness Week? We I do remember Kindness Week. We're gonna we're gonna put little sweaters up this time and put each and every one of you guys' names on there. Lots of trees are dying, but uh, it's all for the greater good. I like selling uh, chips and fundraising for a junior class uh, for one dollar. Yep. Okay, I don't know why she was talking. I was the talker. I'm the one selling those. So, you know, junior class, supporting class 2020. You know, we're kind of broke right now. So if you want to, like, really help out, if you really want to help out for a little bit, just $1 each bag, cheap. I know you have a dollar there. Instead of trying to go for those other people selling the stuff, go for us. It'll actually go to something good. Very nice plug right there. So, Mary, uh, do you celebrate uh, Christmas? I do. You do. What do you like to do for the holidays? Um, I don't know. It depends. Most of the time I just stay in, watch some classic holiday movies. Christmas Story is one of them, definitely. Ooh, is that one your favorite? I I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but I do enjoy it a lot. Uh, Yeah, presents, you know, are great, but it's all about spending time with your family. Dang, that was a very true family answer right there. Thank you very much. All right, so there's been rumors uh, around uh, Kearney's school that the real Santa Claus is here and we're gonna go find him. Santa Hunter, let's go. Oh my god guys, we found the real Santa Claus. There he is. Oh my goodness, it's Santa. It's Santa. Oh my goodness. Can we ask you some questions? Sure, sure. Alright, uh, do you believe in Santa? I do, definitely. Are you Santa? I am, yes. He is the real Santa confirmed everyone. How much horsepower do you have on your sleigh? I don't have any horsepower in a sleigh. I've got 12 reindeer. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, reindeer power. 12. What's your favorite kind of cookie that you like to be left out? Uh, gingerbread. Yeah. Uh, just like plain gingerbread or like with the... Say I like the ones with some frosting on it, maybe a little bit of decoration. Do you prefer milk or eggnog? Ooh, milk by far. I'm not an eggnog fan. I mean, I, I'm, I'm Santa Claus after all, but you know... There's some things you just got to stay away from. Well, thank you so much, Santa. Thank you so much for being here. So we've been given special permission by the ASB president to uh, go inside the picture booth. Let's go. Let's go through the line. Excuse us. Pardon us. Here we are. Now, what do we have here on this very table? These are all the props for the um, photo booth. What's your favorite part of the ensemble for the whole picture? I like the presents on the bottom. Do you know what's in them? It's empty. It's empty. How do you know? Because I was part of making them. I'm just kidding. No. Um, they're just like they're just boxes that we put paper on. Like they're you can shake them and there's nothing in it. So what I'm hearing is that you took the presents out of the boxes, and then just wrapped them to hide them. Yeah, I kept the present for myself. That ends our tour of the Christmas camera photo op. Uh, please come down here. It's actually pretty awesome. I like the hats. The hats are pretty sweet. Merry Christmas! Don't record. Wait, Shamari, she just Yeah, it's my liquid. Bro, they got it free stuff. Look at It's my liquid. Yo, 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 look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Look at and for your cohort, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's up. Oh, oh, I mean, we'll that one. Oh, <laughs> that's yours, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my <okay>. God. <laughs> Okay, so if you if you do this. Ooh, bitch. Oh, oh. oh. Actually, I don't have a special number like Oh, it's like the color red. Oh. I want to see that. Let's see if you're gonna steal. Oh, baby! Ayo! Bingo! I 
Christmas. I see it as you spell it L O V E because that's what this holiday is all about spending time with the people you care about. Isn't that right, Heath? Oh, yeah, definitely. One thing Christmas everyone has in common during this time of season, hopefully, is to spend it with someone sign it with people or someone that you really do care about and have fun with and have good times. So have a good time this Christmas. Or whatever holiday you celebrate. It doesn't matter. And I just want to say to all of you, Merry Christmas. You might have heard about the food drive recently, and uh, I gotta say, it's a great way to help out your community. And so that is why I brought this cream style sweet corn right there, made from the green giant himself. And um, <sighs> I'm doing my part. And you can too. On a way to go ask Fabricio some new questions. So, Fabricio, tell us a little about yourself. Hi, I'm 18. I am a senior at SEC. And I'm, yeah. About to early ride in 30 days. Woo! Okay. What does commitment to credit mean to you? Can you rephrase the question? I don't know. That's my yearbook question. <laughs> what does commitment to Kearney mean to you? It just means, you know, being, uh, you know, very academic because Kearney offers a lot of, you know, academic courses from Mesa, taught by Mesa professors. And, you know, we have hard classes, so... No, they're pretty rigorous. Pretty what? Rigorous. Yeah, I don't know what that means, but we're pretty hard. We've heard so many rumors about uh, the back room. Can you clear some up for us? Uh, I'm not allowed to speak on the matter unless I know the context of it. So. Okay, uh, we heard that the abominable snowman likes to eat his hot dog wrappers in there. Is that true? He, that's why they're fucking fudging there. Wow, there's so many effing wrappers down there. He left them? I thought it was common man. Well, it's just a rumor, but uh, we, we don't know. Do you know anything about that? I mean, I've seen a bunch of hot dog wrappers, and I've seen hamburger wrappers, too. Like the ones Hamburger? So I was kind of, like, questioning, because no one goes back there but me. But I am a vegan. I lied. I'm not a vegan. I'm not a vegan. Hello, folks. Uh, we're going to take a tour of the mysterious back room. Uh, come with me. Uh, not a lot of people are allowed to go back here. Only uh, ASB members. Oh, excuse me. What was that? Who's allowed to go in the back room? The special ones. Watch. 
Okay, we're going to follow uh, Mr. Nihilo into the back room. There's a lot of things back here. Uh, this is where we have all of our activity. Uh, so so tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the, basically, this is where I live. As you can see here, we have the kitchen. Uh, like, I wash my things. And sometimes, like, people come here, so you need to, like, set up parking for your guests. I like to play basketball, if you don't know. I'm part of the current basketball team, so you got to get shots up somehow. Yeah, yeah, and then my fridge is up there. It holds all the food. Oh, it's yeah. cooler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's my fridge right there. Oh, inside of there, like, obviously, the flammable stuff, like, probably, like, there's probably, like, the heaters in there and stuff like that. Yeah, see the heater? Yeah, yeah. like, you can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, MTV, for coming to my crib, and uh, have a good one. Well, I'm not much of a worker in class, but... I do really promote because, you know, I, I market myself and I market, you know, ASB. So this is where usually ASB puts all of their lunchtime activities. Pretty exciting stuff. This is a giant banner. We hang up for the, all the football games and stuff. But sadly, we don't have football anymore. Uh, you know, rest in peace that. But we'll be back uh, next uh, next season. And I promote events like, you know, homecoming. I kind of promoted that even though I wasn't even an ASB. But, you know. Uh, this is some uh, fluid in case anyone gets, like, you know, diseases or anything. And we got to, you know, make that stuff go down. Uh, you just, you know, pour some uh, anywhere, you know. It's a miracle cream. So you, you got you to gotta open wound, you know, like, seal that up. Someone slit your throat, put that back on there. All good is new. So would you call yourself a master salesman? Yes, actually. And I do work at the mall and I sell my products, so... What products? Well, sunglasses um, year-round, but, you know, during this type of season is when we sell ornaments. All right, so here I am giving money to a local charity. Uh, here you are. I'll take a Doritos, please. Would you like Penny Ranch or Nacho Cheese? Ooh, Nacho Cheese. Go, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for being on our televised program. Oh, and uh, keep the change. So, everybody, we do announcements. We're going to go do them right now. Let's go. Can we not? Ralph arm down, fist clenched, and his voice shook. There was a ship out there. This is Sunshine, you're the library, the ASB room, and the SCT office. Some of their most needed items are canned tuna, canned soup, and students interested in participating in the spring school with the San Diego Food Bank. There are red barrels for the items in the EID office. I'm in Student Center near the library. So, you just got done with doing all the announcements. How do you think it went? I think it went pretty... I think it went pretty good. These were easier than last time, because last time had a lot of names. So I like these better, yeah. Do you, do you find it hard or like challenging to pronounce the names since there are a lot of people here, you know, so the names are pretty difficult? Honestly, no, I, it's not hard. It's just, I don't, people already know them by their first names. So all I say is their first names, you know, it's like Darcy Velez, Kimberly. <laughs> so. Totally. That totally makes sense. Out of all those canned food did you, that you just, uh, you just named, which one would you eat for the rest of your life? If you had to. A dried cereal? Because I mean. Dried cereal. Yeah, but like powdered milk, how does that work? Do they just put water in it? Yeah, I think that's a, you know, it's like comes in like coffee kind of. You go like, and then stir it. And I taste weird. I've never tried that. What about you? Is there canned, canned fruit? Because fruit is very healthy. You know that? Yeah. But are you going to get full with that? Uh, yes. Fruit is amazing. You know, I bet you can't even name four fruits, okay? Orange, banana. Apple, kiwi. Dang, she could. Thank you very much. There you have it, folks. Darcy Velez on the move. Let's keep going. So, this is, yes. <laughs> this is ASB from my perspective. Yes. Hi, guys. My name is Xander Rice. I'm looking for the mind of ASB. Oh, my gosh. So, today we're going to be with Darcy. Darcy, no, no, I, the rain is really getting me live. Okay. So, tomorrow. Not today. Not today. Not today. We'll do it later. <laughs> Yes, so from an SEC student perspective, I can tell you that Zach is not doing anything. Drew is walking around the class. Mr. Me is right there. I'm going to walk away. Um, <laughs> we have Myla. We have Mary. We have... Dear... Do you want to be the vlog? I do. Okay, link yourself. What? Link yourself. Your Snapchat. Your... You're going to put it right there for me. 
Well, okay, so he'll send it to me later, guys. You can see. We have Heath, we have Rhyme, we have Eli, we have Darcy, we have right here. Sec? Sec? Kimberly. It's because you usually sit over there, so I'm like, okay, cool. Kimberly. Then we have right here, Kara. We have right here. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. It is. Wait, 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 wait. I believe in you. I have faith. I have faith. I'm really bad with, with names. I, okay. I, faith in you. I believe in you. So you e starts with an E. What's the last letter? N. <laughs> it's four letters. Evan. Oh, Evan. Oh my God. It starts with an E. You know, I usually just reference you as an EAD guy. So I'm sorry about that. And then we have Zach right here. Read the jacket. No, you look like you look like a Zach. So I'm gonna call you Zach. That's Zach. I've had enough. I'm sorry. No, it's because you look. Jesus Christ! I'm I'm leaving. I don't know what to do. This is this is Xander. You know I'm okay. You know I was gonna call you the right name because I did know your name because it is Seth. But you look like a Zach for some reason. He looks like a Seth. I don't know why. That makes sense. You guys gotta you guys gotta trade names. I'm sorry. Yeah, I am. What? Oh my God! I don't know why people. I'm sorry. Like I have my Latinx queen right here. My second. Um, she's not Latin. She's half Mexican. So I don't wanna brag, but I'm kind of like a YouTuber. So I'm rich. I'm famous. I'm funny, I'm smart, I'm pretty, obviously, like, look at me. Um, I'm humble, I'm athletic, I'm just everything and anything that you can think of, but better. This is the hairstylist right here? Oh yeah, I'm actually dyeing her hair. Um, um, she, are you killing her hair or you're dyeing it? I'm dying. Okay. Okay, so we're just going to dye her hair because, um, and they said wow. I'm not okay if he That's so okay. We're gonna go to um, Amiga slash Jam slash all the above. We have Jennifer, the ASB president, right here. Hi. Hi. We have Maria right here, soccer player. We have Stephanie Mejeda, soccer player, and poster team. Oh, she's the head of poster team, doesn't? Okay. And then we have Jocelyn Leslie wearing a views jacket. We have what uh, live. The, oh my God, he's. Oh. We love, and this is uh, this is scholarship yeah. info. Scholarship guys, do that. But we have Mr. Me. Uh, how we doing? How we good. Doing? How are you? We have Walter right here. Hi guys, how are you? He's my little queen, my little my little uh, handshake partner. We have Alyssa right here. We have Nahilo. This is the world title of a puzzle right here. They did that. We have right here Lillian, and we have we have Vice President Alize right over here. What are you doing, Vice President? Stressing. You know, all of we are, I'm not gonna lie. Um, ASB is stressful, uh, English is stressful too, and I'm gonna fail it if I don't do any of my essays. So, yeah, uh, next, thank you for your help. EID and SEC. Okay, so, and honestly, that's it for today. Um, I'm just here to let you guys know that I love you guys and this is my channel. I'm not doing a channel takeover, I'm doing a channel mine over. So, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Inside ASB. Uh, we have my good friend Heath Rowers here, uh, ready for another uh, episode. Uh, this episode is pretty important because uh, the ASB crew uh, does something called a pep rally. Uh, what do you think uh, we're going to be doing at this pep rally? Uh, we're going to be doing lots of fun stuff, uh, lots of dance routines, uh, lots of funny skits and games. Yes, and uh, let's go head inside and see what's uh, going down. Yeah, I know. Right over here, this is the gym. Uh, nice look at that uh, red carpet down here. That's how you know we're welcome. Very VIP. And here we step inside. Please come forward. This was built in the ancient Egyptian times. Here, let me show you how it works. That's some good manufacturing right there. Now we are on our way through the tunnel. Wow, it's amazing. What's your favorite part? Just like how I remembered it in my dreams. Favorite part? Everything. Because what would be, what would life be like without ASB? What would it? Nothing. Hi. 
Hi, my name's Xander Rice. My name's Heath Roars. And together we're KSB, KSB News. News. Okay, guys, we're going to be blowing up balloons for the pep rally. Let's show you how it's done. We're going to be blowing balloons? Yum. Hi. Hi. It's not even the takeover anymore. It's actually my channel. As I was saying, sorry, Darcy. Thank you for trying. Um, this is my time. You don't understand how much I've worked for this. I am Xander. I, listen, I've, t I've took my mask off. I, 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 puberty happened. This is what we're going to do. I don't even know who's behind the camera. It's a ghost. Let me show you the gym. To my, behind me, I have b bleachers. I have, um, hoop and thing that has score on. We said Eileen and Darcy take over. Hi, guys. It's back to the news. Back to the big news. We're going to go blow up some balloons now. Um, it's not even, no, it's, not it's Darcy and Eileen take over. It's my channel. First, you quit cheer, and I can take this. <laughs> okay, back to the topic at hand. Um, we have hoop number one, hoop number two. We have boys' locker room. <laughs> we have trash. Uh, I mean, home. Um, where I reside. I, you know, I spend the lonely nights in San Diego, very cold nights. Um, when it rains, it kind of floods the gym a little bit. So the piping, the tubery kind of doesn't like work anymore. Um, yeah. Bleacher number, uh, I, uh, five, six, seven, and eight. We have hoops up. Darcy, get away now. This is my channel. I've worked very hard for this. Okay, so um, we have uh, hoop number one, two, three, one, two, five. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, this is not supposed to happen. Sorry. Oh my gosh, I almost broke that. Hey guys, back to, back to business. Me. Okay, so we're gonna be over here interviewing people. No, I interject. No. No, 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 no. Is that a pom pom over there? Look, it's a pom pom over there. See, that's how you distract cheerleaders. So, let's just talk about my hair. I'm a natural blonde, however, you, that boy, he's a bottle blonde. What bleach do you use to dye your hair blonde? I want hey, What bleach do you use to dye your hair? None. Um, I can tell a bottle blonde from a mile away. I'm a natural blonde. I am too. <laughs> okay, whatever. What dye do you use to dye your hair blonde? Um, I don't dye my hair blonde, but when I do, I use lemonade. I don't dye my hair blonde either. <laughs> Emily, so what are you what are you doing? Um, we're making balloons. We're making this place look festive. Okay, that's it. Back to Eileen because she's a better interviewer than me. Hi, KSB. I have my coffee, and now we're ready to rumble. Okay, so right now, as you can see, everyone's hanging up the streamers for the pep rally. Shamari, girls basketball team. How do you feel about it? I feel like I should be the captain. No shade to the captains, but obviously, um, my talents are there. My personality is there, my drive to succeed is there, and I think I'm the next Boogie Ellis, but of Kearney High School. So uh, just give me a <laughs> give me a fade and call me Boogie. <laughs> oh, she was funny. Okay, so to prove her talent, she's gonna throw a ball into the hoop right now. Shamari, let's go, action. Boogie. Not everybody's, not everybody is perfect, but I'm pretty darn close. I make like 26% of my shots. Free throws, I make about 0.3. So, I'm listening to One Direction rock me right now. Okay, thank you, America. Remember, guys, you miss 100% of the shots. You don't shoot. Rhyme? Harmonize with me, okay? Ready? Which match, song? match me. Uh, hi, come on, high notes. Uh, And she doesn't know how to sing. Okay, we're here with Hayden. He got another football offer. We're going to ask him how he feels about that. Uh, I feel great. It's just a blessing, man. Like, I woke up to a great news. Something just went down. That was pretty crazy. But anyways, it's just, it's just a great day to be alive. It's Friday. We got the pep rally going on. No winter formal, but it's cool because we're still going to turn up and have fun. Okay. Congratulations. How do you feel about me being your football captain this past season? I mean, you're a great captain. You really led us to the CIF. Even though we didn't win, you still led us all the way there. And Hayden, um, what's your favorite sport? Because I know you play a couple. 
Yeah. I like golf. So right now we have Xander Rice Films. I like to call him Z Rice or Zricey. And he's going to talk about his YouTube channel. So what inspired you to make Inside ASB? Was it me? Um, you know, you were part of it. I could tell you that right now. Uh, Eileen, you're a great friend. Thank you so much for being a part of Inside ASB. Uh, we only have a few more episodes left before all of our seniors go away. And uh, we're going to try and make the most of it. Right? Yeah. So how long does a video typically take you to edit? Um, I would say maybe uh, one to two days. Maybe a few hours every day. Not too long. Yeah. It's an average amount, I think. How long does it take to edit your videos? Since I know you make some great videos that people watch all well, over the world. Okay, well, actually, I don't edit because um, I use iMovie on my phone, and my thumbs, they slip a lot, so I can't edit on the phone. But Maria edits. It, it takes her, like, three hours per video, so we're pretty good. I mean, we're going to start paying our manager to hire someone to do editing, so. Okay, next question. Xander. Yes. Um, once we leave, what's the next series? Um, well, actually, I'm going to be in ASB for second semester, so Inside ASB will continue. Uh, with all the new uh, case beers, uh, but after this, I don't quite know. Do you have any ideas? I think we should do the mind of Marines. Can you please stop screaming, guys? We have a protester. Come here, Fabricio. So, would you say you're kind of camera shy? A little. <laughs> oh. That was that was really anti-Mexican. I just want to let you know. A little bit. That was really against Mexican people. Hey, Sebastian, I thought we were people together. La raza, together. La, ra la raza, unidos. <laughs> okay, I just want to let you all know que si se puede, you know? Si se puede. Like Barack Obama said, yes, you can. All right, folks, the pep rally is about to start in a very few minutes. If you look around, look at everybody getting ready. Uh, all the cheerleaders. Uh, over here, we have some of the baskets that we're going to use uh, for our game. I'm pretty sure the objective is to throw one of those basketballs uh, in the hoops. Yeah, we just got told to move, so... We're going to move really quick. Yeah, pretty much. It's about to get crazy. Oh, 
The pep rally is over. The preparations, everything that led up to it, we did it all. This ASB class is something, isn't it? That is right, because without ASB, there's nothing. That is right. Couldn't be more true. And I uh, can't wait for the next pep rally. Can you? No. Me neither. See you later. Sorry from squinting, folks. The uh, light is right in my eyes. Today, we have to talk about something very important. Uh, I posted on uh, YouTube uh, and on my Instagram story if you follow me. Uh, I posted a video uh, announcing the final episode of Inside ASP. Um, it's gonna, it was going to be the big giant send-off, the final episode that we are ever going to make. And, uh, well, got some news today that... Uh, we weren't allowed to film it anymore. Um, so the final episode of Inside ASB has been canceled. Now you guys probably have some questions, and I can't really get to all the details. Um, but basically, some people uh, find ASB, uh, find Inside ASB uh, deemed as offensive, vile, and crude. I can't say if I agree with those people or not, but uh, all in all, we cannot continue Inside ASB anymore and I would have liked to continue it for quite a long time uh, me and Heath had an entire new semester plan full of inside ASB ideas and I just want to say the main reason why we did inside ASB is from the very first place from that very first episode is that we wanted to show everybody that ASB is not such a bad place I was getting comments uh, from a lot of my friends and a lot of people that I go to school with saying that oh you're in ASB that's gotta be so boring Oh, you're in ASB, that's such a terrible class. Oh, you're in ASB, I would never want to do that. And one day I was like, you know what, I've had enough. This is a true story. I I, I, I love ASB. I love ASB a lot. Um, this is my third year in ASB. I did two years of ASB in uh, middle school. And so I was really excited when I got to do it again because that is just what I like to do. Um, so I made this documentary with my good friend Heath. And um, he kind of had the same mindset too as well. And, uh, but, so that's one, that's, that's one of the reasons why I made the documentary. Second reason is, is that in our AASB class, me and Heath, uh, were credited with being historians. And what a historian does is that they document all the events, um, using pictures and video that are happening around, uh, ASB throughout the year. And so what better way to capture the essence and the energy of a working classroom than making a uh, full-scale documentary about it. And we didn't want the documentary to be all um, uh, good and nice and plain and because we think that is boring. I think there's, there's, a, there's a line between um, uh, having fun and there's a line between work. And if we made a documentary all about work, uh, that's just it would come out as false because that's not what ASB is. I think it's a mixture of both. And that is exactly why we made the documentary because it shows the fun side of ASB, all the funny stuff and all the fun people. And it shows the uh, important side of ASB, the more structural work that we do inside the classroom and all the assignments and all the events that we go to. And I think we captured the essence uh, of both sides because uh, with the work we have uh, the pep rally and some of the dances that we documented and on the other side we have um, people having fun making jokes and showing that personality of what ASB is all about and uh, that is reason two and reason three is simply just for marketing purposes uh, my channel I've been trying to hit a certain amount of subscribers for a very long time and I needed a boost uh, up my channel for a bit and I thought this series would be the perfect way and I was right it did a lot of people uh, a lot of people from all over the school of Kearney High School have been watching Inside ASB and I just want to say thank you to everybody who is uh, who got a part of it uh, who played a role in it um, and everybody who watched it because it's uh, it's been some of the greatest few months ever uh, of how much great response and how much great praise that people like the series and people actually want to join ASB now so what I think that I think that what me and Heath did it actually worked people actually like Inside ASB and I think people are going to go uh, take part in ASB a little bit more next semester Are you ready?
ready, Emily? I call this meeting to order at 1.49 p.m. Okay, so the first order of business is we need to approve a, um, a reimbursement for socks. Uh, and can you tell me the amount for socks, please? $8.62. Okay, so it's $8.62, and it's for the purchase of senior night roses a while back. So who motions to approve this recent reimbursement? Kara. Sorry. Kara. Kara. So we've been given special permission by the ASB president to uh, go inside the picture booth. Let's go. Uh, Ken, what do you think I should try on? Which one do you think I would look good in? Ooh, let me see. I am a reindeer now. Let's look at the centerpiece here. We got a little, we got a little gold banner going down here. Ooh, look at the camera. Let's take a close up on the camera. I believe it's a cannon, but I could be wrong. It's got Christmas colors. Nikon. So you know what that means? It's an official uh, Christmas Capturer 2000, imported from the North Pole. Is that correct? I hope so. She hopes so. Uh, did you ask it for it for Christmas? I already have four of them. Four of them. Wow. Uh, do you, are they different colors? They're all red, actually. I lied. No, they're all blue. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being part of this interview. Alrighty, let's see what else is going on. Now, I have found an exclusive, like, uh, Prime HD. Only if you have the uh, ASB sticker can you take a prop with this mop. And, I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. It is just beautiful. Look what I can do with it. Look, I could be, I could be the janitor. I could be uh, the lazy janitor. Or I could be just a guy looking at a mop. So many. Let's get out of here. Uh, we're going to take a look at the cans. Uh, this is one of the fundraisers that we've had. Uh, look at all the people, look at all the things people have donated. Isn't that right? What do you think of all these things? I think it's very good, although I don't know if Nutri-Grain bars are, uh, last a very long time. So. Let me see. Let me see. Ah, yes. It's not quite a can, but... Um it is a pack of Nutri-Grain. Who doesn't like that? Am I right? Uh, did you bring any cans to help out ASB? No comment. Uh, I don't, I'm not quite sure if that's a yes or a no, but let's just keep looking at other stuff that we have. Um, we have some sun-kissed uh, tuna. I heard that um, there is such thing as vegan tuna, which is quite interesting. Uh, oh, peanut butter. And uh, is that creamy or nutty? Which one do you like better? Oh, look at that. He looks like a, a real-life ornament. Okay, well, we have some interesting drawings on this piece of paper here. So, uh, so Evan, uh, I saw a SpongeBob on the other side. Can I? Can you get a, a, a zoom in in that SpongeBob? Excuse me. Excuse me. Right there. Look at that SpongeBob. SpongeBob SquarePants right there. Do you know? Do you know who the artist is of this drawing? Her. Who was that? What's her name? Kimberly. Kimberly is the artist. Uh, that is an A plus plus drawing. Uh, I heard that you you drew it. Did you draw it, or are you just saying her? No, it was her. It was her. Well, if it is her, she has very good uh, artist artist skills. Uh, who drew this? It looks like uh, eggs and like bacon. I don't know what that is. Some kind of hamburger helper guy. Me. You drew that. Yeah, I drew that. Oh man, that is just one of the best drawings we've ever seen. Oh, it's Darcy. Darcy, not today. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, she's shielding her face, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, look at that. Yeah, um, she's trying not to be on camera. Well, we'll get her later. Darcy, why do you think there's why do you think there's a holes in the ceiling? Because they're putting AC, duh. Do you know why they're putting in AC? Because it's like it gets real, real hot in here. Honestly, it's because they're trying to hide the scent of the deceased body. How do you feel about that? What'd you that say? there's a dead body in the roof. I feel like that's they're good at hiding stuff because I would have never figured it out. Just kidding. There's no dead bodies, at least that I know of. Evan, why do you think there's holes in the ceiling? Uh, I'm assuming that work's being done. What kind of work? Dirty work because it's the ceiling. Like dirty, dirty work or? Dirty work. Like dead bodies. Deader, deader bodies. No, I think like deadest bodies. The deadest bodies. 
<laughs> like uh, the dead of spice. So it looks like they won't be hiding the skeletons in closets, but in the roofs. In December. Because California. So Darcy. Hey. Oh, what's up? Oh, it's well, yeah. The dance that I just did. It's like what? Is it our little poster? It was. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. You? Why don't you put our good poster over here? Yeah. Joined the Jew Squad today. Nice hat. Uh, I made that. Like, no, you didn't. No. You should have put a good poster on it. He's lying. What did you did you do anything on this poster? I in fact did. I no, did. He did not. Shut up. You didn't do anything. You didn't, <laughs> didn't even do did. anything. He just sits there. I do not know who Darcy's boyfriend is. We're about to find out though. Are we actually? Oh, we're not gonna find out apparently. She just said we're not gonna find out. So I guess we're not gonna find out because she said we're not gonna find out. So, uh, yeah. All right, dope. <laughs> Honestly, that probably is the worst classroom like ever. Joking. No. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> this is Aiden right here. We're about to interview Aiden. What's up, Aiden? How do you feel about uh, school? How do you like it? I mean, it's all right, I guess. How do you feel about sporks? Sporks? Um, I'm. Yeah, I like them. I like them better than forks because like they have more uses, you know. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Yeah. That's a really good answer. Thank you. Honestly, that's the best answer we ever had so far. Thank you, Aiden. <laughs> Love you. Here we are. We're here with the legendary Drew. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Now, uh, we have a very important question to ask you. If you were the ASB president, what would be the first thing you would do? Would you tie a bunch of yo-yos together to make an ultra yo-yo and then dip it in deep fried bacon? That sounds like a good idea. I would do something like that. What would you call it? Yakin. Yakin. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Dang, I, I don't even think about being ASB president, if I'm being honest. Oh. <laughs> if, if you were ASB president? Um, I'd be better than Jennifer. Shots fired. Jennifer, I'm coming. Oh, actually, Emily. Where's Emily at? I'm coming for her spot next year. I'm going to be ASB president. I don't care. ASB. Ooh, yeah, are you considering running for presidency? That's the last second question. I probably won't win, but I consider running. Ooh, consider. What would be your slogan? Um. Uh. Oh, I had a slogan in my head. Me and my mom came up with it. Um. I'd call. I'd say vote for Drew or you're a poo. Oh, it was stay true and vote for Drew. Oh, that's even better. Thank you so much for being a part of this interview. On a history. And one coffee You're enhancing in Declan's uh, beautiful face. <laughs> oh my god. So, good afternoon, class. My name is Darcy. And I'm Xander. And these are your KSB announcements. <laughs> ASB is hosting a food drive from December 4th to 18th with the San Diego Food Bank. There are red barrels for the items in the EID office, I'm in Student Center near the library, library, the ASB room in the ICT office. Some of their most needed items are canned tuna, canned soup, canned vegetables, canned fruit, peanut butter, dried cereal, powdered milk, and oatmeal. ASB will also be hosting a fundraiser starting next Monday, December 17th to 20th. It is a holiday photo booth and will be in the dance room. Each printed picture will be... I don't know why I'm doing this. Let's go. I got a real important question to ask you. Uh, why are you making a triangle? I'm making a snowflake. Ooh, is a, tri is a triangle your favorite shape? Uh, no. Oh, what's your favorite shape? A uh, circle. Why? Uh, I don't know. Is it circular? Yeah. What's your favorite shape? Do you have a favorite shape? I don't want to be on camera. Okay. Chris, what's your favorite shape? Um, you didn't give me time. Is it a rectangle? No, those are weird. What's something weird? Trapezoid. Ooh, a trapezoid. Can you draw a trapezoid? No. But you like it? Yeah. That's awesome. It's cracking YouTube. You know. Thank you. K, man. I promise you guys, like, I don't know this man. I've been following you for the past 10 to 15 days. 14 months. So, look, if you were watching this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not. I'm not stable enough to say that, bro. <laughs> you need it. You know how the best shape is? What is that? Red. 
That is a color. Uh, do you mean like... Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> 